If you are a big T-Rex fan, chances are that you are pretty disappointed with the outcome between the Rex and the Giganotosaurus in the recent Jurassic World teaser. Today, we are here to explain this mess and find out why and how our beloved Rexy fell to this 50% scientifically accurate Giganotosaurus. We will discuss the terrain, physics, weapons, and strategies that led to the assassination of the most powerful meat-eater of all time. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to not miss out on any of our future dinosaur fight content. Goji Center now presents Giganotosaurus vs. T-Rex – The Aftermath. This video has been brought to you by Surfshark, the perfect protection tool if you're one of those people with a ton of devices. And for us gamers, it's of utmost importance to protect ourselves, our hard-earned consoles, and our private information. Which is why I want to talk to you about our sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark allows you to virtually place an unlimited amount of mobile devices and consoles anywhere in the world with just one click. All this while encrypting your data and protecting stuff like your search history and personal photos. You will be able to game in full privacy and security. Things like hiding your IP in Discord or blocking others from peeking in your device are just some of the benefits you will get when using Surfshark. Also, this platform is really user-friendly. Why spend hours learning to navigate through a complicated UI when there's something as easy as this? One super cool thing you could use this for is to watch Netflix shows that are available in other countries here in the US, or literally anywhere. So for example, if a Godzilla Singular Point Season 2 comes out, you won't have to miss it. So Surfshark has an amazing deal for the Goji Center fanbase. You'll get 83% off plus 3 extra months for free. Just enter the promo code Goji Center. This is a no-risk offer. If you don't think Surfshark is right for you, you'll get your money back thanks to their 30-day money-back guarantee. Click on the link in the description and enter promo code Goji Center. Remember, your security is key. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to analyzing this prehistoric crime scene. Explaining the new Giganotosaurus People who have followed this franchise for decades and know a thing or two about dinosaurs would have immediately identified this Giganotosaurus as not scientifically accurate. Let's take a look at a reconstruction of this beast. The first and most obvious attribute that left you confused is that weird hump that is found halfway down its spine. This hump is probably mostly built out of the spikes or small osteoderms that adorn the back of this dinosaur. In addition to this odd deformation, we find that this guy also had a very thick tail. Almost too thick. This could again be due to its overly adorned body. Another final attribute is the overall size of the Giga. By observing some of the footage, we find that this animal is portrayed to be much larger and taller, posing a more serious problem to any opposing theropod. By comparing this Giganotosaurus side by side to another Giga, we find that they are quite different to what a real specimen would look like. But in the world of cinema, this doesn't seem to really matter. Its opponent also had a few differences. The New Rexy One of the most noticed features about the new T-Rex was the fact that it was now portrayed as a feathered dinosaur. These subtle feathered features on its skin were based on recent discoveries that suggested that the T-Rex had some feathers on specific parts of its body. It is now accepted that juvenile T-Rexes were fully covered, and as they reached maturity, these would gradually disappear. Besides these outer changes to our prehistoric incarnation of the Rex, everything else remains relatively the same, which is not good if you're going up against an overpowered theropod. Up next, we will find out how it got killed. The Battle This fight supposedly took place in the late Cretaceous period in an area heavily populated by other dinosaurs near a stream and a waterhole. This Giganotosaurus detects the approaching Rex. Right off the bat, we see the T-Rex process the fact that its opponent is much taller than it is, since it looks up at the Giga. This was probably unexpected to the Rex since they were the largest predators around. Remember that the T-Rex had one of the best, if not the best, set of sensory organs in the world. This Giganotosaurus was probably detected by the T-Rex from miles away. Which brought this Rex here? These dinosaurs begin to circle each other in hopes of analyzing any possible weaknesses. 
At this instant, these dinosaurs now switched positions, and the Giga is the one to make the first move. It rams the T-Rex using its head and immediately tries to subdue it by leveraging its superior height. The next part of this battle will determine the outcome. Watch closely. The Giganotosaurus almost slips inside the ditch, and by using its long tail to confirm that it is a steep fall, it will now try to position the Rex between the ditch and itself. The Giga achieves this by clamping down on the Rex's neck and swinging him around 180 degrees against the edge of this ditch. This now places the Giganotosaurus on higher ground. The T-Rex cannot retreat backwards, as it would slip and fall. What's even worse is that the Rex cannot push forward either, as it is being held from the neck in a more reared position, making it impossible for the Rex to counter this attack. Let's pause here to analyze this grip. Remember that the Giganotosaurus has narrower teeth than the T-Rex. Their teeth are built to cut and slice flesh. What the T-Rex is feeling would be the equivalent of getting clamped on by a giant pair of serrated scissors. If the Rex bit the Giga, however, then the Giga would feel like it was getting crushed by a giant pair of grooved pliers. Now to what really killed the Rex. This part happened off screen, but by looking at how the Rex fell, we can assume that the Giga tossed the T-Rex into the ditch. But taking into account how sharp the Giga's teeth are, this T-Rex literally had its throat slit by the Giganotosaurus. This combination of massive blood loss and the fall itself put an end to this Rex. But could this have been avoided? Yes, let's go back to this clip. Note how the T-Rex is standing next to the Giga with its exposed flank. If the Tyrannosaurus placed its head between the Giga and its own body, then his neck would have been less accessible. On the contrary, the Rex could have pushed the Giga into the ditch instead. There are some individuals out there who claim that this T-Rex wasn't really dead. But we think it did die. The only evidence of whether it survived or died is found in how its pupils dilate. At the moment of death for any animal, all the muscles of the body relax. This state is known as primary flaccidity. Pupils dilate, eyelids lose their tension, jaw muscles relax and fall open, the body's limbs and joints are flexible, and if there are any stored feces and fluids inside this animal, then they will be released as well. After a few hours, however, these muscles will begin to stiffen. So yes, this T-Rex is dead, unfortunately. We can only hope that the present-day Rexy will have its revenge on a Giganotosaurus that could appear in this film. If you haven't already, take a look at our video comparing a T-Rex against a more accurate Giganotosaurus and see who would win in a fair fight. We hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to check out more content on your favorite Jurassic World dinosaurs. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.